to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This week, the SRP or Salt River Project is being built over here at Ingleside. From that pole right there to this pole over here. There will be a little caution zone all around here, so be careful. Good morning, Ingleside. I'm Peyton. And I'm Tess. Remember, Ingleside, 8th grade science test days merits begins today. Good luck to all students testing. Today's trivia question is, what was the first state? It will be answered after the end of the, at the end of the show. Hey, um, one of the main things I like to focus on is at least getting eight hours of sleep the night before. In a scientific study on a math test, Kayla got eight hours plus sleep, actually did better. So make sure you guys get good sleep. Um, before taking the AC Merit, I like to remind myself to relax because if I get too stressed or nervous about how I'm going to do, then I just feel like I do worse and I'm not able to concentrate. Alright, I'm James, and a good test-taking skill is to eat a good breakfast before, so maybe a high-protein breakfast like eggs or something. Um, a test-taking tip that helps me is to check over all my answers before I submit. Uh, one of the tips that I would recommend is to make sure that you're answering what the question is asking. So a lot of times kids will misread the question, so try to use the highlighting tool to highlight some of the key words in the question that you need to be answering. Um, they should make sure that they read the questions completely and then use all the tools um, along the sidebar and along the top, including like the periodic table to help them um, in taking the test. Good luck, Ingleside. Here's AZ Merit tests will be required to be taken on the Chromebooks. Yeah, so. wait, make sure they're the right kind of headphones. Don't bring AirPods. And all kids that are coming from in person or online will come in person and take the test. Hey Peyton, did you hear about the new short film? No, what's it about? The first one is about Nico Peyton's and my sports journey and what will happen when they are all gone. Let's go watch that then. <laughs> Get it! That was a great trailer. Now let's go to another trailer. It's about three best friends that slowly start falling apart because they were bullying one of them. Let's go and watch that. people who were selected for this year's ice. Speaking of congrats, the Masters just happened, so let's go to Nico with that um, for more information. Hey Ingleside, I'm Nico with your sports today. The Phoenix Suns are really heating up. Their record over the past 10 games have been 8-2 and, and are currently 3 games away from the top spot, which the Utah Jazz currently hold. The 2021 Masters Tournament champion is Hideki Matsuyama. He's the first Japanese man to ever win the Masters, and here are some clips of him during the tournament. 
Welcome to Book Trailer Tuesday. This week's book is called The Perfect Score. Randy, Gavin, Trevor, Scott, and Natalie are all in Mrs. Wood's sixth grade class. When the time for statewide assessment tests arrive, these unlikely friends band together to put in motion a big idea which will have a huge consequence. And also, there's a new bulletin board up. It shows all the books from the book trailer Tuesdays that they've already covered. Hi, Angleside, it's Abby. If you haven't heard, on April 9th, Prince Philip died. He died at the age of 99, two days before his birthday, and died peacefully in his home, Windsor Castle, after an almost mo month-long stay at the hospital. He was the Duke of Edinburgh and husband of Queen Elizabeth, with whom he had four kids with. Prince Philip grew up in Greece and was educated in France, Germany, and the UK. He was in the military but left when Elizabeth became the queen in 1952 and in 1957 became a British prince. He became a British prince. He was also the prince of Denmark and Greece. That, that's all. Now back to your anchors. Now, trivia question you've all been waiting for. The answer is Delaware. Bye, Ingleside! <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Oh, Bye. We're here with my main guy, Joseph Gomez, 8th grader, and today we're looking at his drip. He got that Phoenix Sun jersey on. Can you tell us who player that is? Devin Booker. He's one of my favorite players. And then we look down at his shoes, and I think that's another NBA player. Who is that? LeBron James. Two NBA players rocking that. And he got the Nike shoes, the Nike shorts, and the Nike shirt. And he got that fresh cut, baby. All right, today we're here with Zach Smith, 7th grader, and we're checking out his drip. He got that jersey on. Can you tell us more about that jersey? Uh, it's Miami Peak Panther. Um, Where'd you get that on? Uh, Jersey Bird online. If you go down, you got a shoe. I think those are the Nike Air Maxes. Yeah. Pretty clean. Got that navy color. Yeah. And you kind of got the navy shorts. Yeah. Can you do a spin for us? Uh, yes, sir. That's the drip check. Where's Anna Kruger, eighth grader? I'm checking out her drip. She got the Biggie Small shirt, one of the best rappers ever. Where'd you get that from? Um, uh, Anne Marie. I don't know what that is, but yeah. <laughs> and then we go down to the bottom. Got the double shoe combo with the Crocs and the white all-star Converse. Drip check. We're here with 8th grader Gavin Fuller. We're going to check out his drip. Got the North Shore. Turn it around for us. Hawaii Oahu shirt. Drippy, drippy. Then we got the simple shorts, you know, nothing big. And we go down to the bottom. We got those Supreme socks. Thanks. The Vans slippers. Thanks. <laughs> 